In today's video, I want to show you how you can use Microsoft 365 Copilot, especially when it's come to the Outlook, how it's going to benefit it for you. So let's get started. Let's see how you can easily create an inbox rule in Outlook without doing it manually. First, you need to go to Copilot top here. And now you need to give the prompt right over here. So let's give create an inbox rule to send all the emails from and now I'm going to attach that particular person's name. So how I do is I first give the forward slash mark and then I'm going to select the person's name. I gave the name and now under people I get that particular person's name over there I'm going to select to folder test so I'm asking copilot to create an inbox rule to send all the emails from this person to the folder test so let's hit generate So now you can see it has given me up to some sort of level. So it has all, you can see here it has taken that person's email as well and also the folder, the test folder. So what does this copilot do is it always asks to verify the setting before you go and saving it. So that's the main thing. So you are okay with this. What you have to do is you just have to go and hit the save option. And now you can see it has generated that particular inbox rule to you. When we come to use Outlook, we got to spend a lot of time writing up emails. Wouldn't it be great if we had a, like an AI assistant that could write our own emails day to day? So how would you draft an email in Outlook with the help of Copilot? So let's see. So if I go top up here to the new mail, as soon as I click on, you are able to see an option called Draft with Copilot in your mail button. So what do you want to say here is, so I already have something prepared. So I just wanted to get this into an email written format. Introducing a solution to help retail businesses to solve inventory management challenges across multiple channels. So you can do the changes how you want to. So if I go and click generate, so now it will create the draft. So here is the draft that is created it took from the information which I gave before. So it just made a message here. So as I said before, you can do the changes the way you want to. So if you are okay with this particular email, all you have to do is you go below hit keep it option or you can also discard it as well and there are some other modifications where you can do you can retry it and also you can make it shorter whether you want to make this email looking longer you can give it and also you can change the tone of it whether you want a direct email a casual email an informal looking email also like a poem but now I hit formal so once I gave it it will again regenerate the whole email for you so now you will be able to send it and also you can see now how this will be going to be effective to everyone now let's go ahead and reply to email with the help of copilot now I'm going to reply to everyone. So here I could go ahead and use Copilot to draft the suggestions. So here take a look at the very bottom now. So we have some drafted with Copilot. Thanks, excited too. Great teamwork. Looking forward. 
and custom. So all these different ones right here. And notice that we do have the custom that we could go through and kind of do the same thing what we shared you before as well. So let's use one of these suggestions right here. So I'm going to thanks excited too. So now it's drafting. So there is a quick response. So if you don't like it, you can simply go and keep it. And you can also do the different things that I showed you before also. Some other modifications. So let's now go and hit keep it. And it has dropped into my mail body. So and now you can send it to directly to this particular email thread as soon as possible. So what about summarizing emails? Yes, there are scenarios that you might get an email through that you need to read through and understand that come from multiple people like over a period of time. So where actually it can take you minutes or hours to read through and understand all about that email thread. So now while Copart is Outlook, you can easily summarize any of your email threads like this. So when we open up any email thread inside of your Outlook, you'll be able to see an option called Summary by Copilot in the top. So when we select this option here, you will then see it will summarize that email thread instantly. So now you can see, you will easily know here we can see the Alex Viber has sent on an email inviting Christy Klein to co-host a webinar on digital transformation in manufacturing. So see, so very quickly, I can summarize any long email thread like this. So actually, it will save you a lot of time. So now when it comes to those all important forwarded emails where they include lots of content and all. So for you, you can easily, you can catch up on them very quickly. This is actually a new feature in Outlook. So you are now able to set a custom theme based on your location and the weather. So let's see how it works. So here I am in my Outlook, my mailbox. So first you need to go to settings. Under settings, we go to general. Then we click on the appearances. Under modern themes, you get the themes by Copilot. So we go and click on to the custom theme. So this will open you a new experiences. So what I have here is four topics. So I can select the location wise theme or whether you want a weather theme. For the now I'm going with the weather and as the second step I can select the style of it whether I want the realistic style, oil painting style or cotton style. I'm going with realistic style and as the last step I can define the frequency of it how many times that I want to update the template as the following with the weather. So I would say every day because weather can change every day. So let's click on create. And now it's generating the theme for you. So what I have here is the very first experience preview. So there you go with the result. So I'm going to apply this right now. So 
So now I want to have this theme. So let's see how it's going to appear in my background. As you can see here, so what I have is the preview version before. And now it has been applied into my background in my Outlook. And this is the new experience in my Outlook. So you can see it also has adapted the color according to the theme which I have applied behind. As a second option, also I will show you how you can do the changes according to the location theme. So let's see that. Again, I click on to the custom theme. I give it as the location. And I can give any location that I want to select. Whether if you have your favorite city that you want to apply, you can give it. For this, I'm going with Chicago. I'm going with the realistic style and also ask to refresh this in every week. Let's see. So now, look at this fantastic, beautiful result. So when you're ready, hit the apply button right over here. So therefore, this will apply to your mailbox. So every week, you're going to get a new fresh picture that represents the location where you are currently based on. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for more content.